husband. Sure. Buddy. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Hope I didn't wake you up. No, no, not at all. I slept like a lord. How about you? Were you nice and comfy down here? Oh, say, how did you get home last night? I hope you took a cab. Yeah, I miracul miraculously managed to call on all by my infantile self. Now, I never said... I never said you were infantile. Excuse me, childish. Didn't say childish. What I did say was that you were impetuous and unpredictable, which I find very appealing. Oh, so appealing, you won't marry me. Blake, from experience, we know that when you find yourself locked into a situation, you tend to get restless. So, if there is no situation, like, say, formal vows, then you have nothing to rebel against. There's just one serious flaw in your logic, Ross. And what is that? It's not what I want. You're not happy being with me? I'm very happy being with you, Ross. And I want you and the whole world to know it. Honey, I do know it. Well, you would know it even more if we got remarried. No, don't say that. Don't say that word. Don't even think that word as it's usually defined, all right? Now, lately, you've been very happy. I've been very happy. We've been very happy. That's enough. It's not enough. Well, it will have to be enough. What's for breakfast? I'm afraid I didn't have time to make breakfast this morning. I was just much too busy being juvenile. You're feisty. I love feisty. And this is what I was hoping would happen in this new arrangement. You see, your focus is exactly where it should be, right on us. And you're not looking outside the relationship to find any excitement, because you're finding it right here. Would you just stop with this contorted logic and this psycho babble and just admit it? That you are not sure that you want to share the rest of your life with me. That's what this boils down to. No, on the contrary. Come here. Now, you listen to me. I love you more at this moment than I ever have before, and I want to spend my life with you. You, do you know what would happen, how I would feel if I ever lost you again? Well, I know how I would feel. Then would you please trust me on this? I have given it a lot of thought, you know, and I firmly believe that this is the best way for us to preserve us. By your not fully committing to me. No, by completely committing to you in my heart and not asking you for more than you can give. Oh, God, that is so patronizing. No, 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 it is not. It is realistic. I think the problem here is you think that you want structure, but you don't. You want freedom, and that's what I'm offering to you, Blake. I'm offering you the freedom to be your true self and not someone who's trying to fit into some preconceived notion or role. Honey, you're my friend, my lover. You're the mother of my children. You're the most important person in my life. But not your wife. Never your wife. Gosh, Ross. What a gesture. <laughs> what a sacrifice. <clears throat> I just don't know what to say. Don't be sarcastic about it, please. I'm not rejecting you, Blake. I'm giving you what you've always wanted. After all these years, I'm accepting you. Keeping your options open, too. I mean, I know that's not your intention, no. but it's just a little extra added dividend. I didn't need, and I don't, I'm not... I want you to think about our marital failures of the past and compare them to what I've been telling you lately, all right? And then we'll continue this when I get home later. As for right now, I guess I'll get breakfast on the run. You do that. I'll just sit here and be a good little concubine, tend to your progeny, Try to remember the old Ross that I used to know and love. 
and cheat on. Please. Don't dismiss this new situation out of hand, all right? Sometimes it's good to just shake things up. But then you'd know that better than anyone, wouldn't you? joke. I can't work until Selena gives me more material to build on. I'm just spinning my... Oh. Hi. Have you seen the morning edition? Uh, no. Late news last night? No. Why? What's wrong? Uh, nothing, but there's an article in here you'll want to read later after I've left, and then you'll probably want to call Harley. Uh-oh. What's this? What does it look like? You and Ross had a fight. It's not going. About? No, it's no big deal, really. But Ross just never wants to marry me, ever. He wants us to live in sin for the rest of our lives. Thinks it's the best way to preserve a perfect union. I guess if I don't have a formal commitment to rebel against, I won't bolt some such rubbish. That's an interesting idea. Interesting? It's asinine. Wait a minute. Was he pulling your leg when he said this? Oh, no, he was quite serious. He's very adamant about never putting a ring on my finger again. Nice, huh? Well, Blake, he has a point. I mean, you have a tendency to, to chafe at the harness, and maybe if there's no harness... I have changed. I have. My priorities are straight now. I know what I want. I want my life with Ross. I want my writing career. I want to be right here. I don't want to be anywhere else. But Ross doesn't believe me, and apparently you don't either, which really hurts. I do believe you. I... I just think you don't... You don't always know your own mind, sweetheart. Oh, God, you're almost as condescending as Ross is. Well, what's so great about marriage, anyway? What is so great about marriage? Well, it's only a formal commitment to God and everybody we know about how much we love each other. That's what's so great about it. And if you don't have this formal commitment, are you going to love Ross any less? No, of course not. But it's a statement, Mother. It's a promise. And what about the boys? And Clarissa? Do you want them growing up with parents that aren't married? I can't believe that you're siding with Ross on this. I'm not siding with anybody. I... I just think that Ross has, a, has a, a good idea here, and maybe you shouldn't be so quick to dismiss it. Well, I think he's wrong. I think he's terribly wrong. I think the whole... Oh, go answer it. Why don't you? It'll just be a sec. Yeah. Okay. Yes? And? Oh, very, very interesting. Thanks for getting back to me so quickly. Bye. Um... Where, wh what were you saying, darling? I'm sorry. I don't want Ross doubting my commitment to him and vice versa. I want our promise to be bonding and lasting and... Honey, I'm sorry. I just, I have to make one teeny call and then I'll be, I'll be all yours. It's no problem, Mom. It's only my life. 